Simons, I think we're on the verge of something really exciting, and that is prayer. I'm going to read two of the most well-known little sections of prayer about prayer in the Bible. First is Second Chronicles chapter 7, and it's this. This is what God says. When I shut up the heavens so that there is no rain, or command locusts to devour the land, or send a plague among my people, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Now my eyes will be open and my ears attentive to the prayers offered in this place. And this is Jesus in Matthew chapter 6. When you pray, go into your room, close the door and pray to your father who is unseen. Then your father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. Prayer is about intimacy. Prayer is about communicating with God. And amazing things happen. Something amazing that's happened during lockdown has been prayer at St. Simon's, maybe magnified by six times, seven, eight times what it was. There used to be three, four of us that would manage to get together on a Monday morning and pray in the building. During lockdown, for quite a few of the months, every single morning at 8 a.m., on average, 10, 12 of us would pray, a dozen of us would pray every morning. Now, of course, that's slimming down a bit because lockdown is changing, but we want to keep the prayer going. And also, I have a real vision for every person who considers themselves involved in St. Simon's to do a little bit of joining in with the Zoom prayer each week. So, please fill in the survey. There's a link on an email that came with one simple question. It offers you a whole bunch of options, basically morning or lunchtime or evening. And it could be any day of the week, but just tick which is most suitable for you. You might think, I could maybe start once at a certain time of week, or maybe even more than, maybe even more than once, but tick your favourite one. There's also an option to tick not at all, because I'm keen to know, not who, but just roughly um, if there's a pro proportion of people who really don't want to do this. And I think with Zoom, that's understandable. Please fill it in. Let's push in together and go to the next place that God wants us to go. We will go deeper with him as a Jesus-centered family. Heavenly Father, would you help us as we go to the next place with prayer and what you have for our lives and our community. Your great plans for us in Jesus' name. Amen.